Hello, Crazy Big Farm here with another deep sea fishing video for you. First of all, I'd like to go over a few important details with you. On the image for the trawlers only, okay, you'll notice the yellow numbers. The yellow numbers represent the, t the total travel time with a standard boatload of six Roy and six Bridget and it's highlighted with bold text. This is the standard load you're going to use all the time unless the pool has less than 195 fish in it. Okay? And you'll notice over on the left side a standard boat will only take 2 hours and 25 minutes. And then over on the right travel time is longer so it will take you 7 hours and 42 minutes. All right, and then I'm going to point out the red numbers. The red numbers represent the max number of Bridget allowed for these pools. Sometimes you'll get to have a boat load that is less than 195 fish. And if the pool has less than 195 fish, then you won't need so many Roy. And that means you'll be able to add more Bridget if you can. Notice on the far left, you can only have a max of six Bridget. You can put more on if you want, but you're only wasting your money because they won't do anything anyway. But you notice as you go farther over on the right, you get to add more, seven, eight, 11, 12. Now say this uh, number 12 pool only had uh, 68 fish in it. That means you'd only need one Roy so you would be able to add five more Bridget and that will take that time from 742 way down to like three hours, okay? And the last thing I want to point out is do not preload your boats with equipment because you're going to just waste your money on equipment that you're not going to need. Because, like I said before, sometimes you'll have pools that are going to have less than 195 fish in it. So you're not going to need six Roy, okay? All right, so let's get started. Oh, and another thing I wanted to point out is stay away from the freezers. The freezers are the most expensive equipment in the game. And also stay away from the hazard equipment. The hazard equipment is, is, is expensive also, and why take a slot to put a hazard equipment in there when you can put a Bridget in there and make your trip faster? Because in the long run, you figure, okay, if you have a pool that has a 195 fish in it, you put six Roy in it. You need six Roy or you're not going to get all 195 fish, okay? So you need the six Roy. And then if you go ahead and you put hazard equipment in there, that's going to take the slots. So there won't be any slots left to put any Bridget in there. So this boat is going to take an awful long time to do its fishing. It's going to take like maybe 14, 15 hours. Where if you took those other six slots and you put six Bridget in there, you're going to cut that time in half. So you're getting two boatloads in the time it would take you one boatload. So the fish that you saved from putting them hazard equipment in there that you had to pay a lot of money for, it's, it's going to be even steven because here you're going to have two boatloads in the time it only takes you to get one boatload, okay? All right. Now, I hope, I'm not very good at doing videos, so I hope I explain that correctly. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and like I said, you're going to load your boat to fit each pool that you have on your, your fishing area. So let's start here with this shellfish pool. Most of the time, the shellfish pools don't even have 195 fish in them. So 
Windows comes with a calculator, so you want to make sure you open that up first and have that ready on your desktop. Okay, so I'm going to add up my fish that are in this pool. So we got 79, 63, and 55. So 79 plus 63 plus 59. And to jump, double check, I go 79, 63, 55. Okay, so... So I'll take uh, four away because <laughs> I messed that up. Sorry. All right, so that's 197 fish in that pool. So our standard boat load won't make it. So we're going to have to splurge on a freezer for this boat so we only waste one boat on this pool. So to do it my way, click on the pool, click on the fish, and then select the boat and then click down here on Qu equip crew and thanks to southern on the us1 server she told me that if you hold your shift button while you click on your crew they'll go right on the boat so we're gonna load um five bridget on there like it says on my image for 206 fish one freezer five bridget and six roy so we got five bridget and then i'll go to my next page one large freezer and six roy and then you just close this window and you check and right here it says it's going to take two hours and 37 minutes and 47 seconds for me to catch all these fish so then you go deploy selected boat all right, and then your boat is there, see? Two hours, 37 minutes. And then we're going to go down to our next pool. And because this pool has a large number of fish in it, we're going to just keep loading it with the standard boat load until we get down to less than 195 fish. So we'll click on the boat. Click on the pool, I mean, I'm sorry. Select the boat, and then we're going to fill it with six Bridget and then we're gonna go and fill it with six Roy close it and send it out and then we're gonna do it again select the boat do six Bridget six Roy close it send it out and then now it only has 14 fish left in it so that means I can put extra Bridget in there if the area allows me to so this is right next to the sunken ship so this is pool number six and pool number six I can still have a max of only six Bridget so we're gonna go here and like I said it has 14 fish in it so you're gonna look and see 14 fish I don't need any Roy at all so this boat is going to only have six Bridget on it. Oops, I ran out of Bridget. I'm terribly sorry. I'll go buy some more. Okay. And then this is only going to take 56 minutes to catch those 14 fish. Then you deploy the boat and we go down to the next pool. And the next pool has more than 195, so let's start with our standard boat of six Bridget and six Roy. Oops, one too many Bridget. Okay, and then there's still, okay, 90 plus 28. So we're going to open up our calculator. Make sure you clear your other ones. All right, 90 plus 28 equals 118. So you look on your list, your image. Okay, the closest to 118 is 123. And that has six Bridget and three Roy. And you want to go by where your pool is. All right, this pool is down here underneath the ship. 
and that's number seven so that can only have a max of six so I can't get extra Bridget on this one either so we're going to go with the with the three Roy and six Bridget so we're gonna fill our ship with six Bridget and three Roy after you do this a while it's going to stick in your head the numbers and how to do it so quickly that it will be like right in the bike and then you deploy it when I first started doing this I made the mistake of, of hitting that deploy button right away and sending an empty ship out so you want to be careful get used to not hitting that deploy button Okay, so this one has 524, so I'll be able to send out a full full ship a couple times. So All right, and another boat load. Close it. Deploy it. All right, and now I have 134 fish left. And when I look on the image, the closest number to that is 151. And that is six Bridget and four Roy. So I'm going to fill my ship with only four Roy. And, and uh, six Bridget. And one, two, three, four Roy. And that pool is number nine and number nine says I can have seven Bridget so I can put one more Bridget on this boat so I'm going to backspace put another Bridget on there and that will drop it down to two hours and 26 minutes okay so deploy that boat and that pool is empty now so then we're going to go to the next pool alright and that's 689 fish so That'll hold a couple full, full boats. And just pretty much let it stick in your head that uh, standard boat is six Bridget, six Roy. That's if you have trawlers, uh, level six trawlers. I am in the process of working on images for your other boats, like the skipjacks and uh the motor boats and all that and I'll have them in images done for you perhaps tomorrow hopefully but the same standard idea will work okay all right so you close that deploy the boat and it still has 494 so we'll send out another boat close it deploy and it still has 299 fish in it so another boat deploy now this pool has 104 fish left in it so look down on the image and the closest to 104 is 123 and that's six Bridget and three Roy so we're going to fill a boat with six Bridget and three Roy. Six Bridget and three Roy. And you'll look over there and that one, that pool is number 13. And number 13 will hold 11 Bridget all together so I can put three more Bridget, you know fill up them other three slots with Bridget's to save me some time so let's put three more Bridget's on there and yeah see it's gonna drop it all the way down to three hours and 22 minutes where it would have taken six hours and 12 minutes so that's pretty nifty isn't it <laughs> okay so now that one's done and I don't have any more ships so I have to wait for more ships to, to for my ships to empty to go out after this pool but 
this one's only going to take two and a half hours and two and a half hours, two and a half hours. This one's only going to take less than an hour. So two and a half hours, say in, in two and a half hours, I'm going to have, I'll have uh, new pools plus I'll be able to go after that pool. And, and then did you see how fast and easy that was? And how it's so much easier and you're going to save money in the long run if you don't fill your boats ahead of time. Fill your boats while you're looking at your pool. And only put on the boat what you're going to need. Okay? And I hope this helps you. Have a great day. Bye.